Well, you stormers, at least one of our East Pacific tropical cyclones reached hurricane intensity, so Barbara did in fact become the first hurricane of the 2025 season. But as both Barbara and Cosme barrel into colder, storm-killing waters, we're off to somewhere much, much colder, so here we go! We're flying over South America, and what's this? Out in the cold South Atlantic, a stunning island with a long glaciated mountain range. Out to the south lies something else, what appears to be a large white island, but this is no ordinary island. This one is made of ice. This guys is iceberg A23A, the largest iceberg in the world right now, and it ain't going nowhere. A23A measures about 2,800 square kilometers right now. It has been losing size but still remains at an area almost four times bigger than Singapore. It's also thick. This is a very old cryosat thickness estimate, but it's probably still about 300 meters thick in places today, and maybe 200 meters of that is underwater. So how did this megaberg end up stranded off South Georgia? To check this out, we're rewinding the satellite view from Sentinel-3. This shows that the berg became stranded around the beginning of March, and before that we can see it was moving, spinning in fact at times. So where did this iceberg come from? Well it actually broke free from the Antarctic coastline way back in 1986 from the Filchner ice shelf. And here's the crazy thing, it was when it carved, it actually had a Russian base on it. The base was called Druzhnaya 1, and it was only after the iceberg carved carve that it was actually dismantled and rescued. But then the iceberg went out and it immediately got stuck in the bottom muds of the Weddell Sea and it was stuck there for three freaking decades. It was only in 2020 that it eventually refloated and started to drift again, slowly at first and then it charged towards warmer air and waters. In April 2024, A23A stepped into the Antarctic Circumpolar Current and it looked like it was going to zip its way north into the warmer waters of the South Atlantic. But later in 2024, the iceberg just spent months just spinning around while staying in the same place. This was next to these islands, which I think are called the uh, South Orkney Islands. And this was because it was in the middle, stuck in the middle of a stationary ocean eddy. So yeah, that's Iceberg A23A, and when will it get free from South Georgia, the banks of South Georgia? I don't know. At the moment, it'll be causing a lot of disruption to the, the ocean base. It's a huge slab of ice that's disrupting the ecosystems and crunching against that rock and mud or whatever is down there. But uh, eventually it will break up like the other icebergs have done. And if you check back in the past in this channel, just search for Iceberg, you'll find the last even bigger iceberg that went into South Georgia, both its impact and its breakup. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one.